which is his main weakness, I guess. Hey guys, before we begin, I want to thank DJ Esports for sponsoring this video. DJ Esports is a crypto-based betting platform where you can bet not only on esports events, but also on your favorite streamers. Crypto deposits and payouts are safe and reliable with the highest rebate rate of 8%. Another amazing thing about this platform is the DeFi program, where they provide interest daily for any crypto you hold in your wallet. Right now they are giving you 0.08% every day, which is equivalent to 30% per year. 30% interest rate is absolutely insane, so make sure to take advantage of that. This site is absolutely amazing, and to sign up, it's as easy as having a username and email. Once you're done, you can deposit and bet crypto instantly with no turnover restrictions. If you don't know which teams to bet on, you can check into my stream whenever I'm live, and I'll help you out with which teams I believe are going to do well. So go check out djesports.io, or else I'm going to personally ban you from my chat. Enjoy the video. I'm against fear, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna play with no music. Um, let's see, so Edgy thinks lethality is gonna be the way, so I'm gonna test uh, the new Ghost Blade. The new Ghost Blade looks pretty sick though. I think Ghost Blade and Tiamat are my two all time favorite items. So you don't need to do the Blast Cone trick anymore, where you like cancel your auto, you can just queue over. Never mind, I guess you don't get a stack anymore. He did an 80% win rate in Challenger. Uh, yeah, he's not the first person to do that. Uh oh. What was your peak win rate in Chal? I've hit Chal 80% win rate multiple times. I can't remember the exact number, but 80% was like. Oh yeah, now that um, your bola gives you vision now, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, back in the day like 80% was good. Anything lower than like 70 was considered bad. Wait, so now you can do this. Crazy as that, guys. Yeah, so it's it's a good clear. I mean, all things considered, like I I don't know if I even cleared as optimally like as I could have, and I still cleared by 315. So that's pretty good. I'm sure, like after optimizing the clear, you can get that down to like three 310 at least. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can gank mid here. That's uh, not the best. He has no more aftershocks, so maybe we can kill him. I feel like the E is still a bit bugged though. I feel like um, the cast time on the E is still gone, even though it, it should be there for the normal cast. Like when you're not in the air. I don't know, it's gonna be so weird, like using your W at the start of fights rather than trying to like bait out damage and then like and then Wing. Or waiting for like QSS and stuff. Whenever I do raptors, my first instinct is to always run back to the bush. Now I won't need to anymore. Now you can always do this with the bola. Really, really amazing that you can do that. It's actually so satisfying. So yeah, to clear in Rengar is like definitely way easier. Um, like you have way less to worry about, like getting back to your bush, managing your stacks more, um, like better. All right, so we're gonna try this build. Rushing that ghost blade. The infamous ghost blade. We could we could probably invade him at his red right here. He's pretty far behind. That just used his W and we you know he doesn't have flash. So we'll just jump on him right here. Yeah, that's a pretty free kill. I'm moving somewhere up here. Wow, that is so weird. That's the first like skirmish I've ever had with a new Rengar. 
Like, you could see my first instinct was to save my W for QSS. Oh boy. Oh, I forgot. He went to his top side. I just wish they reverted Ghost Blade to, like, the old Ghost Blade, where you got, like, attack speed and crit from it. That would be so amazing. I'd honestly, like, prefer that over Tima. Like, if they did that change, that'd be more nut than if they brought back Tima. Like, old Ghost Blade was nuts. Alright, we're gonna go hunt the Mumu. I gotta be careful now because Mint's missing. And it left up one health. Yeah, that's awesome. Blue lived with one health, literally. I thought I could save my smite for a duel. Alright, so what do we buy after this? Edge Knight? Duskblade? Probably Duskblade. Amumu is strong. Did they buff him or something? Amumu has two Qs? Wait, what? Are you kidding? Is that a... Wait, he does? into the ash ult. I also missed my bowl I think. This is so weird. I gotta get used to E being instant cast. Um, Tom's getting destroyed. Do I think Rengar is going to be played in pro play? We'll see. I'm not gonna say like anything for sure. I think these changes are definitely more... Um, they're, they're good for pro play. Yeah for sure. So like right there my E didn't have a cast time. Or else, like, moving while casting. Wait, let's test it. Yeah, so that's a bug. It's just the empowered E, apparently. So, like, watch. This is my normal E. And then this is empowered. Oh, that time it worked. I tried QSSing out of that. Thought I have it. This is so weird. It's a completely different Rengar. It just feels so different. It's almost embarrassing. Like, I almost want to turn off stream because it's like I'm terrible right now. Oh, the heal does scale off your AD. Wow, that's crazy. I wonder how much he heals like him. I think it's better or worse. I, I can't answer a question like that. You're gonna ask me to conclude if it's better or worse after one game of playing? Really? Patience, bro. I'm gonna wait for this, uh, Irelia. I dodged her stun. See, like, that E right there was instant. Did my stacks just fall off or something? What happened? <gasps> Wait, I'm smurfing. Did you guys see that? That's crazy. The vision on E is so nice. It's so nice. Yeah. It's kind of annoying that your E sometimes doesn't have a cast time. And it looks super awkward. You just like run at them and just like, I don't know. And why are you running?
Okay, so what are we gonna buy? We're gonna buy Duskblade, Edge of Night. It's a good item. You beat Zed with it, you beat Irelia, you beat Ash. Alright, there's our core. I got an extra stack from jumping out of a bush. So that's where Rengar really got buffed, is fighting outside of bushes. Which is his main weakness, I guess. Okay, what are we buying? Uh, we need to buy... What's that item? Oh, we don't have enough? I'm trolling. So this build is, uh, it's definitely got some upsides to it. A lot of CDR in this build. Hmm. Missed my game. Well, that was my first game, so much to learn for sure.